The first step was to remove the wheel box so we could take off the old rudder. Using a forklift, project manager Mark Bartow, along with the museum shipwrights and volunteers, carefully removed the rudder. Taking advantage of bad weather, the boatyard crew worked inside the shop on several rainy days, using the old rudder as a pattern to fabricate the pieces for the new rudder. In addition to working on the new rudder, the boat crew removed the old transom and began to craft a new one. After removing the bottom transom board, a section of the keelson was removed and the crew began to fabricate the replacement piece, called the deadwood. Here a pattern is used to duplicate the wood. Shipwright apprentice Jen Kuhn paints on red lead, a wood preservative in preparation for the new deadwood piece. Here, Mark Bartow cuts kerfs into the new piece as Jen and volunteer Cliff carve out the sockets. It takes four people to carry out the extremely heavy piece of Angelique, a Brazilian hardwood. With the deadwood piece firmly in place, the installation of the new transom could begin. Each board on the transom had to be removed and replaced one by one in order to keep the original shape. With the new transom in place, the crew began their descent into the bowels of the boat to work on the keel. As the new keel logs are built, the crew is removing the forward and aft king posts from the centerboard and replacing them. In order to stabilize and preserve the original structure of the vessel, the crew has dropped the worm shoe and keel from the keelson in order to rebed and refasten it all back together. Josh White, the great grandson of Bronza Parks, who built the Rosie Parks, stopped by the museum with his wife Natalie and son Parker to help out during the Rosie Parks Community Workdays program. Here, two boatyard volunteers helped to remove all of the metal nails and replace them with wooden sweet nails. Boatyard volunteer Winslow Wilmack is tracing a pattern to replicate Rosie's transom board. Work on Rosie continues to be done in full view of the public eye, with the shipwrights actively engaging guests in the restoration process. During the upcoming Chesapeake Folk Festival on Saturday, July 23rd, blacksmith Eric Harvey will be fabricating the new metal pintles for the new rudder, and Winslow Womack will begin to carve the new transom board. Follow Rosie's Progress by finding us on Facebook, following our blog, or visiting the website.